So the, the, whole, the whole point of being here, the Cabinet Secretary's visit today, was to advertise our great innovations in thoracic surgery that happened over the past few years. Thoracic surgery is a very, very long established specialty. We do 1,500 operations a year in Golden Jubilee, something that was facilitated by three units moving into one seven years ago. Formed in 2008, we have been one of the largest uh, centres for lung cancer surgery in the UK, and we have consistently done that. Um, in addition to that, we have one of the lowest mortality rates in the UK and well below the English national average. And similarly, um, we have got much higher resection rates for lung cancers. The benefits of scale of doing these operations has allowed us to subspecialise and now we've gone from being laggards in keyhole surgery to leaders. When we moved down here seven years ago, the average hospital stay was about 10 to 14 days post-op. Now we're getting the patients out in two to three days with uh, great benefits for the patient. In Golden Jubilee Hospital, we're very proud that we can offer now uh, major lung resections with only one uh, port, one incision of three to four centimeters. This is called uniportal lobectomies. This is a service that has been offered only here in Scotland and in very few places in the UK. When we were at uh, our national meeting of the Society for Cardiothoracic Surgeons, at that stage we saw and the industry stand instrument manufacturers who were demonstrating their wares. We saw this, thought it was fantastic and they were good enough to let us experiment, trial and innovate with this over the course of a six week period over June, July and the, since then it has been I think one of the biggest things I've come across in my professional lifetime. People walk into theatre and say wow. We have translated that into improved patient safety, increased ability to do these um, operations by keyhole surgery and made it much safer for the, pa for the patient and become more and more efficient to allow these patients to get home earlier. And now with the advent of 3D technology and other bespoke instruments, we can now do more and more and more. And we're heading towards 70% of our lung cancer patients benefiting from this technology um, just over the past uh, few months.